hello everyone and welcome to this new video on leveling it's about how to use the height of collimation method so today you are going to learn how to assess the accuracy of your work okay and also how to make sure that all of your calculations are correct so let's start as always before we start I would like to mention that there are two other videos on leveling the first one is called introduction to leveling it would be very useful to watch them before you watch this one the first one introduction to leveling in this one I covered the principle of leveling the leveling equipment how to make a reading on a leveling staff and different kinds of readings like back sites, four sites, intermediate sites, change points and how to understand each one of these terms. In the second video I introduced the height of collimation method for calculating the reduced levels. I explained how to book the readings and also how to do the calculations. Today I'm going to continue on the height of collimation method through uh, another new example but also after the bookings and calculations I'll, I'm going to let you know how to check the uh, calculations how to make sure that you, all of your calculated numbers are correct and also how to assess the accuracy of your readings in other terms you are going to decide is the accuracy that you achieved acceptable or not acceptable within a specific project let's take this example guys let's say that you have a project you have topography like this for example you have ground level here okay and this is a benchmark benchmark one let's call it this one its elevation or its reduced level is given to be 100 meters and the aim of this example is to calculate the reduced level of point A point B C D and the last point ordinance benchmark 2 which is this one okay so here there would be a b c d so first you are going to set up the your level and then you you need to locate the leveling staff over the benchmark and then take the backside reading and then record it here in the table in this case the backside reading is 1.950 okay I will, I will write it down here and then I will move the leveling staff towards A I will cite the leveling staff over A I will get the intermediate site reading and then I will write it down on the line of A which is here intermediate site this is A, this is the intermediate site 1.850 and then I will move the leveling staff to point B and then I will cite point B and then we collect this reading here which is four site over B this is B, this is the four site over B I will write down the number here which is 0 0.98 in this case so just to remind you about the backside foresight when you set up the level the first reading should be done over a benchmark or a point that you have calculated its reduced level in this case this is benchmark 1 100 meters so we cited that this is a backside and then the last reading from this station it's called foresight and between the back site and fore site, any reading that you make you can call it intermediate site in this case over A
now we've done all of our readings from this station let's call it station 1 of the level we are going to move our level to station 2 okay let's say that we are going to set up our level here this is station 2 of the level and because we changed the location of the level after the reading over B this point is called change point yeah this has been explained in uh, the previous two videos if you would like to have more information about the change point intermediate site back site foresight please do review those two videos before you uh, continue on this one now from the new location of the level here guys location 2 I'm going to cite the change point so and this is called back site because it is the first reading after I set up my level in the new loca location so and the reading here over point B it's called back site over B from the new location and I'm going to write it down here on the same line for B this is the line for B this is back site over B yeah and it is 3.780 in this case for the change point for point B guys don't be confused from the first location of the level we've got the foresight from the new location of the level we've got the back site now we are going to uh, locate this leveling staff over C collect the reading write it down here this is intermediate site and then we are going to move the staff to D collect the reading this is intermediate site as well 1.62 and finally we are going to locate the staff over the ordinance benchmark 2 its elevation is given 104.004 as you can see here okay so this is the benchmark with known reduced level we are going to use this number later to check the accuracy okay the reading over the ordinance benchmark is 0 0.750 now we've done all of the measurements now we are going to do the calculations first we need to calculate the height of collimation the height of collimation which is the reduced level of the ordinance benchmark plus the backside over the benchmark in this case the reduced level 100 meter plus 1.9 five zero and then the height of collimation would be one hundred and one point nine five zero now we have the height of collimation from this height of collimation we are going to, t to take away the intermediate sites and the four sites now one hundred and one point nine five zero minus one point eight five zero this will give us the reduced level over a which is in this case 100 meters point 100 now to get the reduced level over B the same the height of collimation minus the foresight over B this number this will give us the reduced level over B which is in this case 100 point 970 now because this is a change point I changed the location of the level so I changed the height of collimation guys so I'm going to calculate the new height of collimation so here I will write the reduced level of any point is the height of collimation minus the intermediate site or the F4 site okay now I would like to calculate the new height of collimation which is the reduced level of the point plus the back side so here at we are over B the reduced level we have just calculated that it's 100.970 plus the back side over B to get the new height of collimation and this is the new height of collimation 100.970 plus 3 it would be 104.770 this is the new height of collimation now from the new location 
how to calculate now the reduced level of C from the height of collimation take away the intermediate site over C so 104.75 minus 3.560 would be 101.190 to calculate the reduced level of D from the height of collimation minus the intermediate site over D and write down the answer here this is the reduced level over D 103 meters 0 0.130 always write down your uh, numbers to a millimeter accuracy as you can see here I have 0 here but I will write it down so that I will make sure it's to a millimeter accuracy to address that I'm working to a millimeter accuracy finally we are going to calculate the reduced level of the ordinance benchmark it's given here it's it's known and given here but we are going to calculate that based on our measurements based on our readings here okay we are going to calculate that how to calculate it very similar way the height of collimation 104.750 minus foresight over this point this is the foresight and this will give us 104 meters point zero 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 exactly 104 meters so this is calculated value and this is the actual value this one we will use these two numbers later to find the accuracy of okay now guys we have done all the uh, calculations how to check now if the all of these calculations are correct we have calculated a lot of reduced levels here we have calculated the, the height of collimation in two uh, stations so are these calculations correct or not correct this is what we are going to do now okay to check the calculations you will need to use uh, this relation which says the summation of back sites minus summation of four sites should be equal to the last reduced level minus the first reduced level again summation of back sites this is the column for back sites so, so the summation of these numbers here minus summation of four sites these are the four sites so the summation of these numbers here this should be equal to the last reduced level minus first reduced level this is the last reduced level so this is the reduced level column this is the last reduced level and this is the first reduced level okay so let's calculate these numbers this is summation of back sites it's 5.730 this one plus this one we have just two numbers here the summation of four sites this one plus this one 1.730 okay summation of back sites minus summation of four sites which is four meters in this case so now we have summation of back sites which is this one minus summation of four sites which is this one in this case it the answer is four meters and this should be equal to as we can see here last reduced level minus first reduced level this is the last one this is the first one so last reduced level 104 the first one 100 so uh, the difference between them is 4 meters so as long as 4 meters here 4 meters here exactly the same numbers so our calculations are correct so this is how to check if the calculations are correct or not if there is any difference between these two numbers here that means that our calculations are not correct so that uh, so we have to recalculate these numbers here okay so if the calculations are correct let's check the accuracy of these readings here the accuracy of the measurements that we made here using the level to check the accuracy of our work first we are going to calculate the closing error the closing error is the calculated reduced level of the last point 
minus the non reduced level of the last point this is the closing error so always we need to start and finish at points of known heights or known reduced level like ordinance benchmark or temporary benchmark so let's apply and calculate the closing error in our case so the calculated reduced level of the last point minus the known reduced level of the last point let's return to the table so this is the calculated reduced level of the last point 104.000 and this is the known reduced level of the last point which is 104.004 okay so the difference between them is the closing error so in our case 100 point uh, and 4.000 minus 104.0004 so the difference between them minus 0 0.004 meters or minus 4 millimeters so minus 4 millimeters is our closing error so this is the actual closing error now we are going to calculate the allowable closing error so and we need to make sure that the allowable closing error is not exceeded so the allowable closing error uh, for this project let's say it's being given uh, by this relation the allowable closing error a equals plus or minus 5 the square root of n n here guys in this relation n is the number of level stations how many times you change the location of your level this is n in our example if you remember we have changed the location two times so we, we started from one station and then we changed to another station so n in our uh, project this one would be two we have two locations for our level and the outcome of this relation would be in millimeters directly it will give us the uh, allowable error in millimeters so let's apply uh, in our case the allowable closing error plus or minus 5 the square root of 2 and it would be plus or minus 7 millimeters the actual closing error that we have just calculated in the previous slide it's minus 4 millimeters in this case the measurements are accurate enough so because the actual closing error is less than the allowable closing error which is in this case plus or minus 7 millimeters okay however if the closing error is more than the allowable closing error if we have exceeded the uh, uh, allowable cl closing error in this case the leveling should be repeated that means we haven't met the allowable accuracy for this project for example if we calculated the actual closing error and it was 10 millimeters for example which is more than 7 millimeters in this case we have to repeat all of the measurements to achieve a better accuracy okay so this is how to make uh, some accuracy checks and calculation check so in this session guys we have covered how to use the height of collimation method to book the measurements and then how to do the calculations after that after, after we have completed the calculations how to check if this these calculations are correct or not if they are correct how to check the accuracy of your readings by comparing the actual closing error against the allowable closing error from this relation for small projects however if you have large projects or linear projects you would be given different relations this relation is for this kind of project different projects will have different allowable closing error but for our example I use this relation okay so I hope that was useful guys in this session we have completed the height of collimation method and then from now on in the next videos I'm going to cover some applications of leveling like how to draw contour lines using the uh, grid method and also how to draw a topographical profile and also how to calculate the volume of the excavated soil and something like that thank you very much for listening and enjoy your time bye now